Hello everyone, here from the Hammer Game Channel. Welcome back to Hearts by Four and to a new playthrough where we are playing as the Greater German Reich on the Thousand Week Reich mod, which came out last. When did they come out? Start of the week, last week, Saturday, Sunday, whatever, whatever day I done my live stream was the day before that. But uh, yes, we're not playing as Occupy Japan this time. That was stupid of me on that stream. Uh, let's hop on in to uh, Germany because let's be honest, Germany is going to be fun to play. We are going to have a civil war again, but you know, that's cool, that's cool. Anyways, let's do that, and let's do all the good stuff in here, actually. There is a lot of good stuff in here. Let's do all them straight away. Factories, anti-tank, guns, what rise, where's the medium tanks, thank you, wait. No, we want you, 50s MBT. Right, uh, support equipment, towed artillery, and anti-air. That's not anti-air, anti-air. Right, then, no, don't want wartime fighters. I want fighter one. Cast, 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 cast one, strat, strat one. That's all we need. That's all we need. That's all we need. And I'm just going to go ahead and build the submarines. Because our navy... Uh, I'm not too bothered building a navy, really. For the time being, anyways. Yeah, let's... Let's, let's do that. As for you... Um, yeah, do you know what? That'll do. Anyways, that's the right. As we enter a new year, we are faced with the we face the same problems, not so subtle factionalism, factionalism within the party, economy and free fall and sluggish armed forces. All in all, 1952 has proved to be the worst year of the Reich in recent memory. Moving forward, it is clear that we must tackle these issues head on, as they are slowly killing our nation and threatening to undo all of our progress we fought so hard to achieve. We should do whatever it takes, courting the upper crust of the party, regretfully bending the knee to the demands of those cursed industrial cartels and executing careful political maneuvering within the Reichstag. We've sh um, sheed away? Shielded? I'm guessing that's supposed to be shielded away from being willing to get our hands dirty for so long and now we are faced with no other option. Oh no. Uh, okay, yep, I'm ready to play. I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's go ahead and build some surveys. We do have 98 right now, but let's build some more. And let's go ahead and... Polish terrorist attack. A group of unknown Polish terrorists have successfully damaged a military complex in the former Polish eastern territories of the German Reich. Gosh dang it. The coup brought it harm. The coup brought uh, greater harm to the Reich than one might see on the surface. It caused the Reich much in a way of prestige in Germany's reputation on the market. Alongside already existing economic issues, the coup offered the world an unsavory perspective into the true nature of German politics. Even in 1952, there are no signs of recovery in Germany's near future. If no major actions are taken, the Reich is doomed to fail. It appears the powers of the world are keeping a close eye on us, waiting to tear us apart once a slight crack appears in our mighty nation. That is not good. Anyways, the only thing we can do now is a failed economy. It's no secret that the economic situation in the Reich is sluggish, to put it politely. To express it bluntly, the Reich's markets exist solely between German, Germany proper and the Eastern Territories, which, although bountiful in key natural resources, which we otherwise struggled with during the war, has left us isolated in the areas of imports that exist outside of these trade zones. Okay, that's too much reason for a focus, like, a focus description. Too much for me. Oh, we've got a lot of stuff in here, actually. Germans, Germany's economy. Germany's economy has suffered greatly recently, and we have no choice but to pay close attention to the problems to begin with the necessary reforms. It must be a difficult task, but with our leader, well, with our leader, we'll get us through it. Oh, but our leader will get through it. Will get us through it. Jesus, I can't read tonight. Reform is the only answer that can pull Germany to the brink of total economic failure. Yay, economic recovery has begun. I can't do anything there. I've got to go ahead and do internal politics. Now we must focus on the politics of the interior, mending the current situation we find ourselves in, additional necessary reforms, ensuring above all things, business as usual, as well as other things. Time is of the essence. Indeed it is. Propaganda. 
Okay, we can send support. That's so cool. Okay. Yeah, so um, I forgot to mention at the start of the video. Apologies, I haven't uploaded the last, well, almost two days, near enough. Um, but I have, I have been working. I've been night shift, so I've been sleeping during the day, and then I went straight back out to another night shift. So, you know, I haven't had time to record. It's been, been my last kind of priority. Anyways, the politics of the German Reich. The political situation German of the German Reich turns more volatile by the day. Death slowly creeps towards the great leader and haunts him as a spectre. Meanwhile, factions form within the NSDAP, rivalries between high-ranking officers threatening to boil over from scheming to violence. Thankfully, with Hitler still alive, the party is, is, remains united on the surface and still makes joint political decisions. There's so little one man can do alone, even the Fuhrer himself feels lost at times. Walter Funk resigns. Okay. Gone with an older generation. Right, the SS rivalries. Ugh. Can I favour none of them? Let's go ahead and do questions of reform. The party has been guiding the guiding principle of our society since the inception of the new German Reich. It's become highly monolithic. I don't know. Monolithic, I'm guessing that is in nature. Uh, revered by the ordinary citizens in the cities and the hard-working soot-covered coal miners in the Ruhr. It's also been feared and hated by the most degenerate enemies of the Reich. But with age comes mileage and wear and tear has worn heavily on the NSDAP. That's not good. Not good at all. Fanatical dictatorship. Successful Orpo operation. Stanislaw minus 5,200 manpower. It's two stability. Reserve Police Battalion 101 has uh, done what it intended to do. Spears meeting. During a typical afternoon, Albert Spear paid a visit to the uh, Berghof for a, meet a private meeting with Adolf Hitler, not the Prince of uh, Martin Bormann. While the chat between Spear and Hitler in the garden mostly revolved... Uh, Revolved around architecture, Albert Speer raises concerns in the German economy. I mean, in a formal report on his post as Minister of Armament, Speer subconsciously commented that the German economy is a total wreck and seemingly didn't realise what he just said. Indeed, Speer, the economy is shambles. We are going to get Speer's influence to grow, because um, don't want to spoil it, but I wonder who we're going to be going with. Uh, the Fuhrer summoned all of the inner circle of the party to come up with plans to reform the economy. Joseph Goebbels, Hermann Goring and Albert Speer have suggested their respective plans for the economy, with Goebbels' People's Plan, Goring's New Four Year Plan, and Speer's Ideal Plan. Each proposals are detailed and unique in its execution. The only fact that matters is if any of these plans caught the Fuhrer's interest. Let's see. Have they caught my interest? Egyptian martial law and some war in Indonesia. I, I'm, I'm guessing we're going to be able to get through all these. Which is good. Burn the papers. Oh, his distrust grows. Ooh. The three proposals made by the respective leaders are now being reviewed by the Fuhrer himself, with the final decision being only his. Spears' plan details a plan in which various state projects and reforms are pulled Germany closer to the Aryan dream. Goebbels' people plans aim to revamp the German economy in a more traditional military way. Lastly, Goring's new four-year plan seeks to reinform the entire system to bolster wealth and productivity. I think I'm going to go with Goebbels. Yes. Goebbels. The people's plan. French labour strike. Gosh dang it. What do the French think they're doing? How dare they? Death of George. Age of 56, King George passed away peacefully in his sleep from health complications. I wonder what the UK is going to get up to. Oh, I, f I swear, like, the SS always have infighting if Germany wins. <laughs> Atomic testing. Let's test the prototype. Let's do it. Economic stagnation. That's a recruitment system. Germany tests an atomic bomb. Ha, ha, ha. Oversized Kriegsmarine. Kriegsmarine. Not great. Overgrown office support. Great. All great stuff. Death of uh, Derlerwanger. I've definitely said that wrong, but, uh, well, he's gone. I haven't even looked at my generals. Are any of the OG boys still here? Oh, Manstein is still here. Henrik von Wittenhoff dies. Anyways, Modell can be our field marshal. Actually, no. That's what... Manstein, hello there. There's Heinz. Hermann Hoff. Oh, Spain's going after Morocco. Oh, there's Hans Spiedel. Question 4. The German state has been running the same way without much reform for years. 
Some in the party are urging us to revisit this old system, improving laws, reforming power structures, and so on. However, the old guard and some close confidants around Hitler are opposed to the idea, leaving the decision entirely within the hands of the Fuhrer himself. Nine, Germany is perfect, or allow the reforms. We're going to allow the reforms. Who else have we got? Blaskowitz, Sassinism, and Helmut Biscoff. Oh, not good. Uh, oh, there's Otto Ernest Remmer. Polish plot crushed. Good. I'm recognizing a lot of these guys. Uh, Kiesling's call. Our allies in Norway have contacted Germania. Due to the recent events, they are requesting greater autonomy, as promised by the Fuhrer himself in the 1940s. While it might be time to finally follow through with our promises, Joseph Goebbels suggests that Germany should play along by pretending to allow Norwegian to reform Stuttgart and then retake control when the time is right. Ha 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 ha, Goebbels is right. The Norwegian thaw. Wehrmacht sympathizer. Gosh, oh, there's Fritz Bayernlin. Oh, Franz Halder. I'm just noticing all the people from, you know, TNO, of course. Gosh, we got a massive amount of boys here. Although, um, Jos Josias is looking a lot, um, well, in one piece, rather than what he looks like in uh, TNO with that uh, hella scar that he's got. Uh, handling the political situation, let's do business as usual. With the health of our Fuhrer deteriorating rapidly, we must decide to either keep his health and condition of Parkinson's disease a secret, or release it to the public. It's a difficult decision for high command, not telling the public will leave him in the dark, and when he does die, there will be some people bound to attempt to find out why he died. However, this can also lead to plots to overthrow the Fuhrer while he is sick. Oh, that is a good question. What on earth do we do? 504, Jesus, fanatical dictatorship. So we've got Goringen, that will be Donitz. Yes, it is. Kittel and Jodel. Jodel. Army People's Republic declared war on the Iran Free State. Okay. Right, as the wheel continues to turn for Germany, the facade of normalcy uh, has been maintained by the government and the Fuhrer. While some action should be taken to prepare for the inevitable transition, the consensus within the ruling class is to keep any news of the Fuhrer's health an absolute secret, supp uh, suppressing any information that might be dangerous to the stability of the state. <coughs> the Algerian War. Let's do a handle on the political situation now. The current situation within our Reich, politically, is one of the utmost caution. Various factions have been vying for power, their influence growing by the day. Arguments, shouting, and even the occasional brawl between deputies of the Reichstag have grown commonplace in these times. These are troubled waters, with the wind whipping at our faces as a tempest itches further in. But we must paddle on. Indeed, we shall paddle on. What are you, a member of the New Ordnung? The New Order. Ah, nice. Assassination George, uh, Joseph Mengel. This one's from, from Gutenland suggesting that the time of these incidents were targeted the Schnutzstaffel. I've definitely said that wrong. Heroes Memorial Day. We get five stability for 30 days. Basically remembering all those who sadly lost their lives in the war. Free French in Africa. Britain tests the atomic bomb. Ah, yes, I forgot the French. I thought it is here. But it'll be interesting to see. Will they go with the Franco African Confederation? Shut down the elections. Gulag revolts. Karl Gebhardt incident. On the outskirts of Germania, while Karl was driving to make a formal report about the recent situations to Minister Martin Bormann, some unknown factors caused a death. Of him. His driver was dead by the time the police arrived, and uh, Gebhardt's body showed signs of struggle before death, with the cause of death being five shots into the stomach. That is indeed very interesting. The structure of the NSDAP in the German government has been needing some reconsideration, considering its current difficulty in handling all the new territory, both west and east. This, of course, calls for the Fuhrer to take charge. The party has been having difficulties with maintaining stability in certain parts of the Eastern Reich's commissariats and the internal politics of the party is getting more and more sectarian. This can be seen with the development of underground blocs in opposition to the policies of Adolf Hitler, with various rival National Socialist blocs seeking alternative approaches. The Fuhrer must decide, intervene and try to maintain unity, or to take a more relaxed approach and see how things develop. Yes, we must cleanse the party. 
Ustreffen. Planned along the higher ups of the Uberkommando der Wehrmacht is the Ustreffen or East Meeting, a large conference among officers leading detachments within the Reichskommissarats in Germany proper. The talks will most likely centre on the matters related to the East of War, which will no doubt become inevitable in the near future. Also likely planned is discussions of for reforming of the military, a topic which has been long supported by the most senior mem uh, officers and generals within the Wehrmacht. The conference will likely last for several days, with its outcome having far-reaching effects of all branches in the armed forces going forward. But as many had already pointed out, the conference was of the utmost urgency if the Reich's army is to continue to catch up to that of the Toronto Accord. Ah, it's the Toronto Accord, who are going to be our pain in the arse for this playthrough. Death of Beria. The good old Toronto Accord. The Crippo Investigation. After the, the many deaths which are odd timings, the uh, criminal police stepped in and took charge of the investigations related to these incidents. Okay, let's see what they can find out. Kiesling wins the struggle. Good for you. I guess. Unfulfilled. Sweden. Gonna have to trade with Portugal now. Oh my gosh. We do not have any factories building anything. Explosion in Danzig. Hours ago, a huge explosion shocked every citizen within the city. After a brief examination, it was clear that the explosion originated from the Gulitia office. The explosion killed 291 Reich workers and bystanders alike. One of the deaths being Gulitia Albert Forster. Police were unable to clearly link the attack to any groups which possessed the means to coordinate such attacks. Find the plotters quick. Yes, find them. Oh. Let's just do all of them. Let the debates begin. With the allowance of the Fuhrer himself, the party will now decide on which direction Germany should head towards for the upcoming months. Failure, military focus, science focus, industrial focus. Let's have a wee look and see what we're going to decide. Industrial focus. Kudnev declared Premier, so he's now in charge of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. That is a glorious beard. Such an attempt on Hans Frank. Suppress the news. Oh gosh, it's all kicking off, isn't it? Shady dealings in the Reich. Whoa ho ho. The U ban expansion. We'll get a couple of bits of infrastructure. Under the watchful eyes of Albert Speer, the Grand German U ban has been completed sooner than expected. Fantastic. And now we don't have any factories. Um, the Ustreffen held in Danzig is a conference between Germania and the Reich's Commissarats, hosted by Albert Speer. This conference seeks to discuss Germanization, economic and military policies in these thirties, and decide on a final solution that can bring all these lands together to finish building Greater Germany. To Danzig we go. Why do I feel like it's not going to end well? Matters of the Eastern War. A Germanization reform begins. Let's go ahead and do... We've got to do them all eventually. They all take 14 days. No, some take longer than others. Which is odd, but anyways, we'll do the ones that are 14 days first. So, matters of the Eastern War. Seeming more like a possibility each week, the, aforema the aforementioned Eastern War is the formal name of the final capitulation of the Soviet Union. And we left in limbo for quite some time. The USSR has been allowed to lie in wait, entrenching its position while also scheming against the Reich. Yes, we are going to have a final showdown with them. Uh, the grand speech, while the Fuhrer is not able to attend the Ustreffen, the Minister of Propaganda, Joseph Goebbels, represented the Fuhrer and held a grand speech in his honour. Goebbels stated that the prosperity of the German people must be achieved through strong cooperation and the will of the frontier settlers, clarifying the role of the Reich's Commissariat for the continued prosperity of Greater Germany and unity amongst all Aryan people in the world. The start of the Ustreffen truly shows the glory of Germany to the world. Thank you, Goebbels. Uh, Schneider, I don't know, takes over the investigation out of nowhere. Uh, this gentleman under the command of, oh no, this organisation under the command of Ernest uh, Carlton Brunner has been ordered to take over the case from the uh, Kripo, turning over evidence and clues found by the Kripo into SD custody. The Fuhrer was informed and aware of this decision and gave Ernest the permission to execute the takeover of the investigation. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. The Fuhrer's 63rd birthday. Industrial military of the East, that's fine, a military factory. Our Führer, Adolf Hitler, has reached the blessed age of 63 this day. All across Germany, flags are unfurled and photos of the Führer display, beginning the jubilation that every fa uh, facet, faucet of the German society can enjoy. Celebration march in his honour, prepared a year in advance, is already being held in Nuremberg. 
the sacred ground of National Socialism, is once again honoured to have such an event performed on the Hearst soil. After the ceremony at Elite Pol the Rena, the best of the best soldiers from all service branch marched across the street of Nuremberg, following the Führer himself atop a Volkswagen. The whole event ends with a solemn ceremony back in the Elite Pol the Rena, and a speech by the Führer himself. Yay, stability, thank you. The Fraunschick sale, I have definitely said that wrong, was finally released today. The film, widely approved by critics. Okay, we get a little bit of stability from that, so I'm not going to complain at all. It's the vacuum tube computing. And let's get some more guns and more of all of this. Actually, let's leave that for the time being. Uh, Hitler's reassurance. Seeing the raising a uh, panic within the German population, the Fuhrer has made a public appearance in an attempt to ease the tension. Doesn't look... Like it's doing much though. Congo rebellion crushed. Germanization status. Germania, 20,000 manpower. Fantastic. And our tungsten trade's gone. The trading policies. The Sade declares Greater Syria. Polish plot crushed. Nobody's going to be interested in there as a civil terrorist. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and do the matters of youth. The Hitler. Jugend is the largest youth organization in Reich, teaching discipline, a strong work ethic, and a pride in one's nation and race for decades now. Alongside our party, the organization has been left mostly unchanged, which has led to the various uh, maladies typical of lacking in modernization. Yeah, we're going to have to sort that out. Reich's commissariats, such as Ukraine, have rich resources that can supply the Aryan people. Germania demands the Reich's commissariats extract and export extra resources to the Reich and fuel the German economic machine. The delegates from Reich's commissariats have sworn their loyalty and promised Germania the resources will be put to good use for the Aryan race. 30 oil in Germania. Soviet border question. The border classes with the Soviets have been dragging for ages and it's finally time to teach these Russians the German ways. Germans in the farmlands will no longer tolerate the Russian raids and Germany, Germania must stand for its people. It's time to strike a border skirmish, which will make them reconsider their choices. Send the Luftwaffe. Goring's influence increases. One of two options will happen. Border war victory. Just for them defeated on the border. Failure, send the Wehrmacht, send the Waffen SS, or just send the Einsatzgruppen. Foreman, Himmler, that doesn't matter. We'll go for the Wehrmacht. Let's send the Wehrmacht. Please be successful, boys. Polish conspiracy crushed. That is good news. And did I just see. Oh, the Ostreffen ends after a few weeks of the Grand Conference. It's finally come to an end. Albert Speer thanked the Reichskommissrat representatives in the name of Germany for their attendance and dedication to the future of the German people. After a feast between German officials and Reichskommissrat delegates in the Danzig Hall, the delegates were sent home and the Ustreffen has finally come to an end. De Helleband comet debuts. Uh, uh, okay, nice. Something or someone is planning. Okay, something's going down. Mayday. Thank you, workers. And I think, yep, Japan has indeed went bloody. Well, they've done this. Communists are here. Well, we could have the communists. Students will. The Japanese Anarchist Federation becomes this, the rule, uh, leader for the Socialist Party. Oh, okay. 1952 EFC. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. What's uh, Mussolini up to so far? Egyptian Revolution, 1952. Okay, right, that's that sorted. Let's go ahead and do a spy on the other party. Within the deepest portions of the party lie a class of politicians whose kickbacks and benefits from being the upper crust of the NSDAP have left them privileged, bold even. Yes, indeed, many of these wine-drinking, endless party-throwing aristocrats are often unwary of their remarks. An off-colour joke about the party's positions here, steaming criticism of the legislation there. Um, sure, this though, yeah, that's fine. Let's, let's do that. Let's deal with that. The health of the Fuhrer. Failure in the border. You fools. During an early checkup, reports show that the Fuhrer's health is poor, though the doctor claimed that there's no sign of Fuhrer recovering from the stroke back in 1948. There were a few pages of the health reports missing, with Martin Bormann alongside the doctor assured the Fuhrer that nothing is out of the norm. Hmm. I'm not quite sure I believe that. Oh, the US are testing a hydrogen bomb.
Alright, uh, spying program. Hitler's paranoia grew after the 1948 coup. He needs a way to monitor the political situation in Germany. Therefore, he now has two options to solve this issue. The Gestapo have, has offered their assistance in handling the surveillance of political related matters, while Bormann suggests establishing a special party detachment to handle the cases. No, I'm going to appoint the Gestapo. Right, I guess we'll go with the question of the old guards. Of course, with any matter, therein lies the opinion of the old guard. Those who stood for us for the longest of time and supported the party from the humblest beginnings. Oh my gosh, Germany wins the EFC. Nice. Nicely done, boys. Right, um, that is a miles ahead of time. So, yep, we won't do that. We'll do improved shells. Cheeky wee look at tanks. Uh, I guess I'll do that. We're all up to date. Let's just do some doctrines. Ah, right, 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 right. You get in the bin. You get in the bin. You get in the bin. The Malayan Emergency. Another crack of the British Empire. Oh no, the British Empire. Right. German military youth. I'll take that. I'll take that one as well. Aryan education reforms. Since the Nazis regime control, education has been heavily politically developed, but this wasn't enough in the eyes of the current regime. Alongside a series of reforms, education reforms have been enacted, constantly reminding their students of the Aryan hood. Spying on the party. The German females. Hmm. Spy on the party. The party must be kept loyal, no matter the cost, even if that meant spying on our own party members at all times. Yeah, let's do it. Spy in the army. Military's influence is growing day by day. If we do not keep a watch fly on them, they might move. Uh, might move. That betrays the, uh, the nation. If they betray me, they better not get any idea. No clear winner in the UK. Oh, that is interesting. You know, Clement Attlee. Oh, Romania looks ridiculous. China denounces Vietnam and will invade them. But this time, will they win or will they embarrassingly lose? Fanta, the official soft drink of Germany. Fanta is better than cola. Mm, yeah, I'm not sure if I agree with that game. The debate. Hmm. I'm going to do spying on the SS first. We'll do that. Masters of the Old Guard. The Old Guard have been there since the birth of the NSDAP regime and some from the formation of the party itself. They are respected influential members of the party, but their views are outdated compared to the thousands of newer members. These old elites refuse to accept that they are falling from grace, resisting any form of change. While Hitler respects these elements, they serve as a great barrier of any sort of reform to happen. Advisors suggest that we should limit the influence of the members of the Old Guard, but would it be better if we keep things unchanged? Time for the old guard to change. The left wins in Korea. Wait, did I read that right? I did. Marx Marxist Leninist. Really? Oh dear. Alright, so we've got five more focuses to do here. Let's do the Lebensrang question. No doubt the most prominent question of the minds of many within the government is the official stance on Lebensrang. A core tenant a tenant of National Socialism. Lebensrang Lebensraum, I don't know if I'm saying that right, defines our living space with the vast swaths, swaths, swaths of land to the east. Okay, India's just taken someone out. PRI elected in Mexico. Combined operations, I think, is the doctrine we're going to go for. Space project planned. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? The RSS defeated... Yeah, India is slowly but surely going to kind of deal with these little issues they have ongoing. Korean military coup. Okay, the pretend autocrats are back. Mass poverty. That's not good. That is not good. Ah, great. Design flaws in the craft. Well, at least they've been caught now and they haven't flew and exploded. The Free French Republic. The 
Okay. Uh, right, let's go ahead and do reform the military. The army of the Reich is the largest in Europe. Um, still work really defending the, the Heimat and the far territories of our nation. Oh, this is a lot of reading here. When the central pillars of National Socialist Doctrine and what was one of the primary motivations for Operation Barbarossa was the acquisition of Lepidran. The conquest of all the lands in the Urals was envisioned by Hitler to improve it. Uh, involved two vital components. The destruction of the Slavic races through liquidation and limited Germanization, and the settling of the territory by German agrarian farmers. Okay, I'm not going to read all that. We will let... Wait, 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 wait. Actually, in addition to a similar plans, systematic target for those who have economically deprived and potentially most open for new life in the East. Heydrich's criti critic critique of Himmler's pro uh, program was vicious, regarded as an exuberant waste of resources, which, like all other variants of the existing policy, will result in economic stagnation. Hmm. I'm going to go free roaming. Encouraging adventures. Right, let's buy the SS. Yeah, let's let's watch out for that. We'll not also do this one. We'll do the party debate. Also, education reforms. Like, ah, nothing there I really would do. For the time being, anyways. Why would you rush a safety test? It's superior German engineering. It will be fine. Yeah, that's not great. It will be fine is not good. Is the Republic of Algeria here? Morocco is still still fighting on. They're holding out. Uh, oh gosh, yes. Let's let's get you updated. The end of the Algerian war. Peace but at what cost? Time to trade the Portuguese has been affected again. A revolution in Baghdad. That's the party debates. The launch day. The day of the launch is finally arrived. Camera crews and engineering crews are ready to take part in this major chapter of Aryan superiority. The spacecraft was manned by Ramfarer Henny Dietmar, an esteemed pilot of the Luftwaffe. Henny Dietmar is the dark is in the dark when it comes to the laziness and danger factors to the plans leading to the launch. Dietmar is uninformed about what was coming. After reaching the 100 kilometers checkpoint, but he is seemingly excited and good morale. With Dietmar already in the cockpit, all that's left is a count on the start ticket. Stop it. It's probably going to fail. Japanese communist takeover. Oh my gosh, we had a successful launch. The launch was successful. However, however while the spacecraft reached an altitude of 130 kilometers before falling back towards the surface of Earth, parachutes failed to deploy and the spacecraft impacted. The ground at the terminal velocity. Radio communications between the space cabin and he, he, Dietmar was cut once it became apparent the parachute would not fly. Attention would be in keep Dietmar uninformed so he could die doing what he wanted. Nevertheless, the launch was an overall success for minimal cost of lives. The first man in space will forever be a German. But that's not a successful launch. It came back and it blew up. The long coughings. When the fuel was getting ready to start the day for Germany, some some noticed that his coughs that day were particularly worse than normal. Man, German space flights. Reports from German state news and information from surrounding radio radar stations have proven that Germany has successfully launched a manned suborbital spacecraft to an altitude of a hun around 130 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Ah ha! We bet you to it. And there's the Sino-Vietnamese war, which. Uh, Chang's gonna probably lose. Gonna lose it, Chang. Anyways, boys, I'm gonna leave that episode there. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I shall be back very soon for some more. Until then, take care. Cheer bye then now.